Now I know a lot of you out there are what I'd call brand loyal. I see a lot of posts on social media where they'll display that loyalty of their full bag, whether it be tailor-made, Callaway, right through the bag from putter through to driver. And I love to see that kind of commitment to a brand. But the question is, if you stay committed to just one brand only, is that the really best way to put your bag together? Go ball, go ball. This could be good, could be good. Oh, and we've got a little friendly bounce as well. It should still come into shot that we're right on the flag, but the start of this video can only be in one place because if I want to go one brand through the bag, then what I realized in making this video, that has to be one part that is imperative. I won't move because the most important thing for me is my irons. So I just hit the Mizuno Pro 221 iron. It is without doubt my favorite iron on the market right now. So I'd have no problem with being my start off place with irons in the bag, a mix of that Mizuno Pro range. And I'm into Mizuno, but the problem is, can I carry it right through the bag? Right, before we go any further, one quick question for you. If you were to be loyal to just one brand only, then what brand would that be? Comments down below. Now the next thing for me, which would be a key factor after the irons, would then be what I would do in terms of putter. Because I realise again, that's a majorly important piece of the jigsaw for me. And what they did this year again really surprised me with this M-Craft range of putters that they released. Again, forged, milled face, as everything with Mizuno, all about feel. And it's just such a nice putter. There's a few different models in the range. And if I'm honest with you, I just really didn't see this one coming. Turn, turn, almost. But it's so soft in the way it feels. Like I said, a couple of different styles to choose from. And then the other interesting bit for me is these options. You get a little bit of a weight kit with it. So again, you can choose to customize the putter's head weight that suits your requirements. So again, I've got irons in a bag. I've now got putter in the bag and I'm more than happy so far with my one brand bag. So easy to pick up, sit on the flag. Oh, next up would be wedges. And I'm sort of doing this in a preference of where I see the bag that sits in terms of what, what is important to me. And wedges again are really, really important, scoring part of the game. They've got two wedges that I would choose from in terms of um, models. T22 is absolutely gorgeous. I just played a 60 degree wedge there in the copper denim finish, which is gorgeous two other finishes in that range but then I'd also not dismiss the ES21 wedges either which again more of a sort of game improvement iron bit of bulk and mass but again forged and I suppose what I'm learning is the key to all this is the feel and sound out of every one of these clubs we've played so far so wedges putter and the irons all forged all feel fantastic and all are performing incredibly well Mizuno are doing so well this year right now but there's a big problem still yet to come. So we're sorted, we've gone putter through two. I think maybe I'll be carrying a five iron, then I'll be looking to go into hybrids. And I've got to say, one of my favorite hybrids available right now, again, was the, uh, the GPX Fly High. They're incredibly good looking from above in terms of the crown. I love the way it sits. It's a fairly neat and small profile, really suits my eye. But ultimately, it performs really well. So I'd have no problem in going, like I said, for my longest iron in the bag. I'm moving on into a Mizuno hybrid. Get up. Get up. I think we've just about got there as well. That's hybrid done. We've now got just a couple of clubs and that'd be fairway woods, maybe a long driving iron and maybe the driver. And there's still a big problem yet to finish this bag off. But the way them clouds are looking, I think I'll nip back inside. We'll get back in the studio and we'll finish that video off in the warmth. But don't go anywhere because I need to tell you about the big problem with Mizuno through the bag. This thing doesn't half go, you know, because it's now on into the top end of the bag. And this is the new Mizuno Fly High. Whether it's 2021 or 2022, I'm not sure, but it's a Mizuno Pro range. And first of all, just take a bit of a glance at it. It's in this black finish, which again is so easy on the eye. 
I think what they've done this year with this whole Mizuno Pro range, I've kind of raved about it, as you well know, but again, they've just got a great feeling, long iron replacements, and to have this little bit of bulk and mass, like I said, for me to be hitting what, this is the two uh, iron, and for me to be able to hit that off of uh, a tight lie on the mat here, piercing ball flight, it is such a good option. And I'd have no problem with continuing my Mizuno through the bag with a two iron, three iron maybe, and then it's into the fairway woods. And I think this is one of the changes that they made this year, which was, again, a massive move forward for me. I've always questioned the fact that everything about Mizuno for me, I just think of irons. That's my automatic thought process. And I think that's the problem they've got to overcome and they've got to make fairways uh, or woods that are appealing uh, to the masses and just as popular, let's say, as what the irons are. And in the fairway woods, I think they managed to do that. And again, from a looks perspective, superb. Performance wise, this club is actually in my bag. It's a five wood and it absolutely goes out like a rocket. To be honest with you, it's this club where it's really replaced my sort of three wood in terms of why I've got a five wood in the bag because it's so, so powerful off the face. Real fast ball speeds, again, real piercing ball flight. So at this stage, I'm all the way up to my fairway woods and I'm more than happy to be gaming that full bag of Mizunos. So I've referred consistently throughout this video to maybe one big problem and that big problem is at the top end of the bag and it's the driver. Because it's for me still the one thing that they haven't got quite right at the Zuno. And whilst they've made massive advancements in terms of where they sit right now with their driver and there's probably three or four models is the right now that you could choose from neither of them really make me want to put one in the bag so they've still got that one step further before i can consider being a one brand man but right now i would say mizuno are the closest to it in terms of hitting right the very top marks for me right throughout the bag where we started with that putter into wedges into irons without doubt then into the long irons and the hybrids then maybe even those fairway would sneak in, like I said, but the driver would still be that final issue. They've not quite conquered yet, but I fully expect that to change into next year. And we'll see how Mizuno continue to be one of the forthright brands in this industry and are producing some amazing equipment right now. Right, as ever, as the rain comes down outside here at Carden Park, uh, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching. Comments down below. Don't forget the question that I asked you earlier on in the video about your brand loyalty. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you don't already and want to see a little bit more of that uh, content that we make. And I'll make this one mention. If you do subscribe, I've never mentioned about hitting that notifications bell. A lot of people do ask in their videos, but I would urge you to check that the notifications bell is switched on and then you get a little bit of a reminder each time that we post a video that, uh, that, that, that we're, we've, we've put something new and uh, exciting to watch on the channel. Right, that's my appeals over. I'm done. I'll see you all soon. Bye.